Hi everyone, this is your Tampa Bay Realtor Lance Moore. In this video, I'm going to go over two easy ways to hire a great listing agent to get your home sold. Now, as you noticed, I said a great listing agent to get your home sold. You don't just want an average or any agent. You want a great agent. You want him to sell your home, not just list your home. So when you're looking at doing this, when you're looking at hiring and choosing an agent, you need to look at their marketing. It's about marketing, marketing, marketing. Of course, you want an agent that's nice, that's going to return calls, that's been in the business for a while, that has been through everything several times or several years so they know what to do, what not to do, how to handle other agents, etc. But at the end of the day, it's about marketing because there's three things that are going to sell a home. You as a homeowner are going to control the price of the home. You as a homeowner are going to control the condition. You're the owner, you're the boss, you're the decision maker. But the real estate agent you hire is controlling the marketing and that's the difference the marketing you're paying all the money you're paying to the real estate agent and the brokerage firm because you're hiring them for their marketing ability you're also hiring them for their negotiation but you need to make sure they know and understand marketing so that's what i'm going to talk about in this video i'm going to talk about how to get an agent that understands marketing and it's really not that hard so the first Thing you need to do is you need to pick some agents to interview and when I say interview I'm not talking face to face so what I would do is I would ask your friends family co-workers maybe there's an agent in your neighborhood that markets or solicits your neighborhood on on I guess homes that are for sale or they put home under contract maybe you'll go on a website or you could go on youtube and look for an agent so what you want to do is you want to get about 10 to 15 agents and i know that sounds like an overkill but i'm not saying to interview these agents what you need to do is you need to start off first with an email an introductory email you could put in the subject line i'm looking to sell my home or my condo or my house whatever it is so they're not just jumping the email and then the second thing you want to do is you want to ask two questions and this is critical so the first question you want to ask the realtors is why should I hire you and you want to see what answer they give you because if they can't give you a good answer why you should hire them to for them to sell your home do you really want them as your agent no, you shouldn't want them as your agent. The second question that you need to ask is what are you going to do different than the other agents to get my home sold? This is really important because this is what's really going to separate the agents out there. These two questions are going to probably literally eliminate 90% of the realtors out there based off of what they're telling you. Now, keep in mind, when you're asking these questions and you want to know the second one, what they do different than the other agents, you want to focus on their marketing. What are they doing marketing wise? Now, let me just say this. I want to make this clear. When I'm talking marketing, I'm talking marketing to sell a home. I'm not talking self-promotion. A lot of real estate agents, matter of fact, most of them out there, all they do is self-promotion. And you've seen it. I'm number one. I'm this. I'm that. They're just promoting themselves. They're not promoting the homes. Then what happens is they go in, they get the listing, and then they don't do anything because they don't know how to market homes. So you want to look what are the agents doing different to market the homes, to get the homes sold. The next thing you want to do is you want to ask them in the email to send you several listings of homes that they either have under contract right now or sold. And it really doesn't make any difference if they're active, if they're pending, if they've sold a day ago, a month ago, or a year ago. What you're doing is you're trying to see if they really know what they're doing. Because every year, the National Association of Realtors, NAR, spends millions upon millions of dollars surveying buyers, surveying sellers, finding out what buyers want, sellers want. And what they say, there are three things that buyers are looking for that are critically important when they're buying a home. 
Number one, for the pitchers, you have to have great pitchers. Number two is a good detailed description. And number three is a home movie tour. These are all critically important. Again, you're paying the agent a lot of money. You're paying their brokerage a lot of money. You don't want to have crummy pitchers. They need to have really good pitchers. And the reason why you want to get information from them and ask them to send you a link of some of these, not just a printout, because you want to look through the pitchers and see how good the pitchers are. Because if they're taking bad pitchers, if they're just taking okay pitchers, or even if the pitchers are just good, they don't know and understand marketing. Because if an agent doesn't know these three things, the photo, the description, and the movie tour, this is the tip of the iceberg. They don't know anything about marketing if they don't at least have these three. Now, I do understand a lot of agents don't do movie tours. They should, but so I would probably certainly concentrate on the first two. If an agent does do movie tours and they have movie tours, then that's a huge, huge bonus. And they definitely understand marketing, um, especially with social media and other aspects. So you want to get an idea and look at the agent and see not only um, the questions that you ask, why should I work with you? What, you know, why should I pick you as a real estate agent? Then what do you do different? And all that's good. You'll see the responses and then they'll send you some homes and you could see that's where the proof is in the pudding. If you get it and they're not good pictures, just delete, go on to the next. So if you pick about 10 or 15 agents and you're probably understanding right now why I say 10 or 15 agents, because you're literally going to probably be left with one or two after you do this. And maybe three, but most likely only one or two of them. And then what you'll do is you'll take those one or two agents, you'll invite them over to your home, and you'll talk to them. And again, you want to focus on marketing, marketing, marketing. Now, with that said, you do want to ask the agent about negotiating. Have them give you a couple examples on how they negotiate their homes, what they do, because it's critically important. You don't want them to just, just be great at marketing, and then all of a sudden they don't have a clue on negotiation, because that could set you back several thousands of dollars. So you want to make sure they understand marketing, they understand negotiation. Now, the second easy way to find a great agent to list and sell your home is just ask me, if you're in a different area than Tampa Bay and you're looking for a real estate agent, I know it could take quite a bit of time to go through the process and interview and where you get agents. You know, it is sort of difficult. I know agents all over the place. It's literally going to take me five minutes. All you need to do is just reach out, give me a call, or fill out the form below on my website. I'd be more than happy to help you. It's absolutely no problem at all. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, contact me. I'd love to help you. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and do me a favor. Share the video with your friends. You're going to find a lot of other people will find it useful and it can help them. I hope you have a wonderful day and I wish you the best of luck.